Good evening, everybody, and welcome to JD Daily News on today, Wednesday, the 27th of January. Now, we're going to start today's programme with a very exciting new feature. As many of you probably know, Mrs. Trelevin looks after all things science at James Dixon. So, we thought it would be a good idea for you guys at home to try and test Trelevin. Now, how will you test her? Well, if you can think of a scientific question that you would like answering, then you can send it in to your class teacher or email, and you can test Trelevin by asking her a question. Remember, it needs to be based around science. So, we're going to go over to Mrs. Trelevin and see what her first question was. Mrs. Trelevin, over to you. Thank you, Robin. So, Mr. Minot wants to know why orange juice tastes so bad after cleaning your teeth. Well, here's why. The strange bitter taste of orange juice after brushing your teeth is due to sodium laurel sulfate. Sodium laurel sulfate, or SLS, is a type of soap. It helps create the foam while you brush and helps clean your teeth. However, SLS suppresses the receptors on your taste buds that pick up sweet flavours. That means that you can't taste the sweetness of the orange juice. Citric juices, such as orange juice, contain both sweet and bitter flavours. And with the sweet ones suppressed, you are left with just the bitter taste. The real question though, Mr Minot, is why are you drinking orange juice after cleaning your teeth? You know that orange juice is full of sugar. You should leave at least 20 minutes after brushing before eating or drinking anything. Thank you, Mrs Trelevin. Now remember, if you have a question based on signs that you think will test Trelevin, then you can submit it by getting in touch with your teacher on Google Classroom. Okay, on to our next feature. This is a regular feature and today is Wednesday. We'll make it Wellbeing Wednesday. So it's over to Mrs. Thomas for some well-being. Thank you, Mr. Entwistle. Do you remember the five ways to well-being? Let's remind ourselves. Connect with other people. Being physically active learning new skills, giving to others, and paying attention, mindfulness. So let's see if you've got five points this week. Have you chatted to someone on a video call this week? If you have, one point for connecting with others. Have you been on a walk with your family? Have you stayed physically active? That's another point. Did you have a go at Miss Smoker's Rocky Road recipe featured on last week's Daily JD News? That's a new skill. One more point. Did you make your bed? I'm sure someone in your house really appreciated that if you did. So definitely another point. And simply taking some time to stare out of the window is a way of giving your mind a little break. So if you've done that, one more point. So, have you got five points today? If you have, well done. You're taking great care of your mental health. I'll see you again soon. Bye. Uh, thank you, Mrs. Thomas. Mrs. Thomas, our wellbeing correspondent there. Now, did you know that today would have been the birthday of Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart? Now, he was a very famous classical composer who was born in 1756 in a place called Salzburg, which is in now what is now called Austria. Now, he composed his first symphony when he was only five years old, so I guess he would have been in reception, and he went on to compose more than 600 pieces of music. He died when he was only 35 in 1791. Now, some of his most famous works are Requiem in D minor, The Magic Flute, and a piece called The Marriage of Figaro, which we're going to play you out with at the end of this evening's episode. Talking of which, we have time for a shout out. Now, we've got a very, very special shout out um, this evening, and it goes to our executive head teacher, Mrs. Aldred's mum. Hi, Mrs. Aldred's mum. 
Mrs. Condor, we hear you watch the show every evening. So from all of us here at James Dixon, a big, big shout out to you. We're going to play you out with The Marriage of Figaro by Mozart. Now, those of you who have seen the movie Trading Places will probably recognise this piece of music. Have a very good evening and I'll see you tomorrow.